Hey, welcome back to another golf simulator video where I'm playing on the Grand Country Club in South Korea. There's two not so bad shots. Even through one. Alright. Uh, again, I'm using the Skytrack Golf Simulator. Hooked up uh, with the E6 software. And the E6 software has the, the golf courses on it. Games and stuff like that. The Skytrack does too, it doesn't have any golf courses, I don't think, built into it. I think maybe if you buy it, you might get, you know, five courses or something. But, uh, the E6 golf package I got, uh, um, yeah, I forget how much it was, but I don't know, there's about a hundred courses or so you can play. I've been working on my swing, but it's coming around. Not looking too bad. This wasn't too bad of a round. Still pulling the ball right off the bat, though. It's not like it's a draw. Where it starts right at a target and, and goes left. It's, it starts left of the target and you know has a, a draw or a hook to it. Anyway, yeah, the these six software it's, it's really good software to play courses on. The Skytrack too, it's it's real nice. I mean it's a it's a good system to play on. It's accurate. Well I think it's accurate. Uh, I did get the Mevo Plus and I was using them both at the same time. And for the most part they were fairly close. You know, sometimes it was ten, fifteen yards off, but you know, I'm inside uh, the lighting, the the setup. You know, I don't get it dead nuts accurate. You know, I get it close, and you know, it's close enough for me. But for the most part, they were always within. I would say. 80 to 90 percent of the time they were within you know, f zero to five yards of each other but again sometimes uh it said it was like 15 yards I was like, yeah, you know i'm not that consistent of a ball striker anyways so if one was reading you know, 180 and one was reading 160 with the with the club, I mean, it didn't matter to me. I'm not gonna be upset about whatever the simulator is telling me. Oh man, early in the morning here. Less than a week to go though before we go on that Arizona trip and get in some courses before the, the season starts. No 
last year was my first season of golf ever. I played I played golf in the past. Maybe the gosh. I don't know. Maybe the last time I ever played around the golf I was probably like twenty one, twenty two years old. So twenty three, twenty four years ago. And so I picked it up again last year. And uh I got a USGA GHIN number. You know, get your handicap. And at the end of last year, it said my handicap was 22 and a half. And uh, my average score um, was around 100. So we're going to try to get that down this year. Hopefully. I also want to try to enter some. I don't know, you get the men's league. I don't really want to play a men's league, or rather just play in a tournament. So I'm looking for just some amateur tournaments that you could just pay pay some money to enter. You know, the, then you play by flight. You know, our our golf club had our golf course had. Something like that last year that I played in. You know, just your handicap for nine holes. You know, which is be half your handicap of eighteen. Um, and then and then they paired you together with the same flight, you know, similar handicap. And then you just played uh I think it's match play where you just win win five holes. You know, because you only played nine holes. In this little mini tournament, but you played uh, well, you had the ability to play 36 holes that day. Well, actually, I think you did play 36 holes because you know, there was four people. Well, actually, 27 holes because there's four people and we played each person, and then you just you know. Win your money back for entering the tournament or something if you if you win your flight. But that's a, a fun tournament. So needless to say. It's all true when when they say you'll get addicted to golf, because I definitely got the golf bug. I bought I bought a set of clubs last year, and they were just starter clubs. And then a month and a half, two months later, I, I went down and got fitted for uh, for some clubs. I was like, yeah, I need to, I wasn't sure, you know, uh, the clubs I bought, I think they had graphite shafts, the ones I have now, they have the, the metal shafts, uh, I guess there's a big, I didn't know all this stuff, and there's a big difference between the graphite and the metal, and stiff shaft, all kinds of stuff that I needed to learn about, still learning about. I looked a little upset on that shot there. <laughs> I forget what I was going to say. I was leading into something, but yeah, I forgot. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to probably come up with some 
stories or some facts or something about golf why watching the video you know I don't wanna say oh, hole 16 453 yards big hook to the left left side of the fairway he's not gonna like that look you know, instead of doing that maybe some golf news or upcoming events or something but Eh, we'll see. It takes time. I don't have that much time to sit down and write out a script. I'm gonna I'm like doing a script in case you couldn't tell. Yeah, I see ball flight just starting left, not even starting right and then going left. Just, so I've been working on it, uh, and I think it, it's not in this video, but I have been filming my swing, and it's it's a different swing, but they're coming out right of the target, and you know I have a nice draw. It's not like a a hook. Yeah, whole, this whole 16 is just, just losing it right now, plus 7, whole 17 plus 7, not a bad round, but just, just losing it, there's always a couple holes on the course, where you just lose your shit, like I just shanked that one. Last hole here. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe. All that good shit. Plus eight. Probably end up plus nine. So, not bad. Anyways, thanks for watching.